How's everyone? Grant here, and welcome back to yet another camera comparison video. Today we've got the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus up against what I consider to be the best point and shoot camera on a smartphone, the Google Pixel 2 XL. And of course, this is more than about just photo performance, but also about video quality. So it'll be interesting to see if Samsung can return to its top spot amongst the smartphone cameras. And so this is going to be a lot of photos and videos and just some pretty good lighting conditions. I'll do a separate video on low light performance between these two cameras, especially since Samsung has been highly marketing low light capabilities of its dual aperture camera. And so I think in this video, we'll find out if that higher 2.4 wider aperture is going to really affect camera performance and good lighting. And can it compete with Google's HDR plus? So with all that being said, let's just find out by checking out all the photos and video. Okay, and here we go again from the front facing cameras. This time the S9 Plus is set at 1080p. So same resolution on both phones. And it looks like the Pixel 2 XL has a wider field of view. So you get more in the picture there. And I did lock the autofocus on the S9 Plus this time. So let's see if you see any focus hunting there this time around. Shouldn't really be any, but we'll test that out. And so again, harsh conditions. Sun's coming right at me right now, but you can see the, what the blue skies look like here. And I'll turn it back around with the sun in back of me. So the sky is usually blown out there, but see which is doing better. And exposure wise, I still think the S9 Plus is doing better, at least in the viewfinder. If I tap the focus up again on the Pixel, still looks about the same. So let's go ahead and test, test some stabilization. Just do some walking. So this should give you an idea of what each of the front facing cameras look like here and how the stabilization is at both the same resolution, 1080p, 30 frames per second. And here is some rear facing footage from the Galaxy S9 Plus and Pixel 2 XL. This is 1080p, 30 frames per second here. Again, a beautiful day in the park. Nice sunny blue skies. And we got some really nice color in the flowers there. So hopefully this is coming across really nicely because it looks really good in the viewfinders. And we'll move it over to the cell tower and test out the zoom two times optical here on the S9 Plus. And we'll zoom it all the way in. That's looking really nice, clear, and steady. So here's about halfway out. Five times zoom. And we'll back it all the way out. And we'll test the zoom here on the Pixel 2 XL. So this will go all the way up to... I'm not really sure what the zoom level is here, but it's coming across pretty nice. Pretty steady as well. back it back out and then 
we'll go ahead and test the autofocus speeds here on the S9 Plus on the post. So really fast focus speeds here. As well as a really nice shallow depth of field that is creating. See that blurred out background. So now with the Pixel 2 XL. Also pretty fast focus speeds there. And one last time. And also really nice blurred out bokeh there. And we'll go ahead and test some stabilization as we go down the stairs. So both of these should be doing pretty well at 1080p, 30 frames per second as far as stabilization. Of course the Pixel has pretty much the best stabilization I think on any smartphone. We'll pan around. Aim up at that sun, see how the exposure is doing on each. But both are looking pretty good here at 1080p, 30 frames per second. Okay, and here we go with the same test from the rear facing cameras, this time at 1080p, 60 frames per second. So hold it steady there so you can see what it looks like without any motion. And then we'll move it over here and pan over to the cell tower. And we'll test out the zoom. So no optical zoom, two times optical on the S9 Plus. But we do have our full 10 times digital there. So that's still looking pretty nice and clear and pretty steady as well. We'll do a little pan over here and then zoom it out. And we're going to test the zoom on the Pixel 2 XL here. That's looking pretty good. Pretty steady as well. Not quite as close as the S9 Plus. And we'll zoom it back out. And we can test the autofocus here. So there you go on the S9 Plus. One more time. So really fast autofocus, even at 60 frames per second here. Also with some nice shallowed up the field, you can see that blurred out background. So Pixel 2 XL, also some pretty good autofocus here. One more time, and away, and last time here in the post. So again, fast autofocus and a nice shallow depth of field, nice bokeh. So let's go ahead and test stabilization as we walk down the stairs at 60 frames per second. This is where things get a little bit tougher. But generally the Pixel tends to do better than every phone as far as stabilization. But they should give you an idea of how they both compare. And again, we'll pan around. And go back into that afternoon sun. And it seems to be handling that pretty well on both. Hey everyone, so here is a last test of the rear facing camera. This time at 4K, 30 frames per second on each. Now the Galaxy S9 Plus can do 4K at 60 frames per second but the Pixel 2 XL cannot. And the S9 Plus does have a 10 minute recording time here at 4K 30, just to note that. The thing to watch out here for the Pixel 2 XL is that on other times I've tested it at 4K, that sky gets really cartoony and it looks like a nuclear blue. So hopefully it's not happening this time, but that is something that I notice that shows up once I offload the video. It's not showing up here on the viewfinder. So we'll see how that looks. We'll pan over to our cell tower here and start with the zoom test. We do have two times optical zoom available here on the S9 Plus. And then max 10 times digital here. And that's looking really, really clear. I'm really pleased with the zoom here on the video on the S9 Plus. That's super clear and also very steady. You can do a pan over here. Really clear. Zoom that back out. And we'll test the zoom on the Pixel 2 XL. So not quite as far of a zoom here but still looks fairly clear and also very steady. So that's good. And we'll zoom in back in and test some, um, some focus here. So autofocus speeds on the S9 Plus are very, very good. Immediate focus lock here. And one last time on the S9 Plus. Also very nice bokeh there, blurred background. Pixel 2 XL now. Also really quick focus. One more time. And one last time here. So again, really quick autofocus speeds, really nice shallow depth of field as well on the Pixel. So we'll test some stabilization and walk down the stairs. So this is where the Pixel really shines at 4K video stabilization. So see how the S9 Plus can compete with the Pixel's 4K stabilization that generally looks like you're just gliding. And then we'll also pan around the park and then aim it up back up at that afternoon sun just to check the exposure. And it's both are looking like it's doing pretty good there. So that's some 4K footage there from each of the phones.